This machine is a uh, millifluidic droplet analyzer. It's a machine capable of taking and sampling very small droplets of, of uh, media containing bacteria or some other living organism. And it's able to incubate those droplets uh, over a period of time. And the powerful thing is that it can take thousands of samples, thousands of droplets, each one containing bacteria. And so the machine will incubate these bacteria and pass these bacteria in front of a uh, fluorescent sensing device, which will measure the growth of these bacteria over time. It's the ability to observe the growth of populations of bacteria and, and replicate those populations a thousand fold, which is something quite unique. So no other machine really has this ability to look at the growth of populations uh, with such replication. So it's one of two machines in the world that can do that. So right now what it's doing is it's inserting a, a little sipper which is able to uh, take a very tiny volume of liquid and hopefully containing bacteria, about 300 nanoliters, uh, and it's sucking that media up and surrounding it in oil and sucking it into a tube. And then that media containing the droplets is being fed into a longer tube where it's going to be incubated. So it's taking about a thousand droplets from this 96 volt plate. So that's, that's the power of this machine, is its ability to you know, replicate the, that number of droplets and that number of uh, populations of bacteria. So this machine can, can, can get thousands of droplets. And the beauty of it is that we can also ask for each one of those droplets can to contain one or two types of bacteria. And then what we can see is the interaction of one type of bacteria with another type of bacteria. Now one bacteria can influence the growth of another type. And then we can get measures of, of fitness, of the relative growth of one type of bacteria versus the other. And because this can replicate, replicate that, that measure of growth so well, we can get extremely accurate measures of fitness. So the relative ability of one type of bacteria to grow relative to another. The machine has been made available through funding from the Human Frontier Science Program. So this is a program which uh, provides funds to, to groups which have collaborated with other groups which you, you wouldn't usually collaborate with. So this has been made by, uh, this machine has been made by a group in, in Paris who uh, specialize in colloidal technology. So the ability to mix oil and water and make these very small droplets. So it's kind of like if you have a vinaigrette, so if you have oil and water and you shake it, you get these little bubbles. Well, that's what this technology is making. But that's not the expertise that we have. So we have expertise in uh, ecology and evolution of bacteria. So we want to use this technology to look at the growth of bacteria and in particular the ec ecological interactions and the evolutionary implications of those interactions. So the maximum capacity for each one of these droplets is about 100,000 cells. So the good thing with the machine is that we can actually identify droplets that have a particular growth characteristic. So this droplet here happens to grow particularly well, and maybe it has evolved the capacity to grow in a media or to deal with an antibiotic better than other uh, individuals and the other droplets. And the great thing of this machine is that we can then identify these droplets, and we will eventually have the capacity to isolate this droplet and then seed future uh, trains of droplets starting from this particular uh, bacterial genotype. In doing so, we can create an evolutionary machine. So one which selects for a particular adaptive type and then gives it an advantage, is able to then grow it and replicate that type because of this advantage that it has. 